Hello there and welcome to video 3 of the test series and today we are going to run our tests via the PowerShell. We need this in our build pipelines, DevOps build pipeline. So before we run the tests, remember while running the tests you can group the tests in suits, test suits. So that you can have, um, like for mine here, while running the test, when you open the AL test tool, you have different suits. Like here, mine is the, 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 by default, when you are running the commands, the default test suit is selected. But I'd imagine you'll want to group your tests in, uh, it's like just grouping the tests. Which tests do you want to execute at a particular point? And... This is where the test suits come from. So in the default test suit, there is no code unit that is selected. But here in the JCL test suit, these are the code units. So before you can run the commands, you can be able to get the tests from BC container. This is just confirming the tests that are avail available to be run. And if I run this command, uh, I'll be able to see the tests that are avail available to be run. And there is none because in the default test suit, there is no test that is uh, selected here. But if I change the test suit as a command here to JCL, I'll expect to have some tests that will be relevant to what uh, I need to be doing. So here are my tests. And then this is the first and this is the second one. Okay, so once you have done that, you can now be able, you don't need to get the tests every time, but you can run the tests uh, to in BC container. And then you select the container name and then the credential. Uh, the credential is a new object. Okay, so this is the credential for... Um, you're converting this credential to a NAV user password credential. So this is basically logging into your system via the NAV user password. And then once you have said that it's detailed so that you can see uh, this detail flag will be able to list the details of your test, the, like the details of your function. And then here we can say that our test suit is this one, JCL, and we'll be able to run our tests successfully from our Windows PowerShell. So that's it for this video. This is the shortest, I believe, in this test series. I don't know what we'll look at in the next video, but stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.